Alright, so in today's video, I'm running the recently buffed AK-47 with the new attachment, the GLU combo grip and the 5.45 rounds. The rest of the build will be at the end of the video, so you can skip straight to the end for my preferred attachments. I know I've been very inconsistent with the uploads recently, but it's because I've been preparing for exams. I still have a few weeks to go, so wish me luck. Once those are out of the way, I'll definitely try to be more consistent with the content on this channel. I'm also still trying to figure out a sustainable method for recording live commentary with my current setup on top of my gameplay. So so be on the lookout for that in future videos. Also, if you're wondering, I'm running the AK-47 Shawley Blueprint paired with the Damascus Camo. And in all honesty, it's one of my favorite Damascus Blueprint pairings in the game right now. Now, when it comes to the AK-47, I didn't really have much of an opinion on this weapon as I rarely used it. But after using it in today's search and destroy gameplay, I can confidently say this is a viable weapon. I wouldn't say it's meta, but very fun to use. And if you're running the GRU combo grip, you basically have no recoil to control on this gun. I think this weapon suits my playstyle a lot. I tend to be a little bit more passive, especially in search and destroy. But as you've seen the clips, it works well as a passive aggressive assault rifle. I'm at around 90 games of the 150 required for diamond, so I'll definitely be grinding that sometime in the near future. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
These are my preferred attachments for the AK-47 using the combo grip and the 5.45 rounds. I just realized I wasted a slot on the granulated grip tape when I could have just used the disabled perk instead. The GOU combo grip already increases the BSA by 40% so granulated isn't essential. Apart from that, this build is really great as the ADS speed isn't too slow thanks to the no stop so it's viable for a slightly passive aggressive playstyle. With this build, the recoil is incredibly easy to control, almost zero recoil, and it's also silenced, which is great for search and destroy. The 5.45 rounds, in my opinion, go really well with this build as it increases the fire rate and the magazine capacity. More bullets per mag is always a good thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.